Hey friends, it's Kip Icon, and welcome back to Kip Plays Kind Words, Lo-Fi, Chill Beats to Write To. It's been a day since I've played this. Oh, someone sends their thanks for the letter you wrote and another Captain Astronaut sticker. And someone sends their thanks and... Hey, Robot Cubes! They light up whenever girls walk by and vice versa. Huh. Someone says thanks and sends another pop can sticker. Now, can we decorate with those things? Or with this new thing? There we go. Oh, there are three of them. Right on. Okay, so... Why don't we first and foremost wait for a letter to fly by? <laughs> uh, 13. You are never going to be not enough. If someone tells you that you will never be enough, they're wrong. Everyone has their own amazing personality and everyone is the best at being themselves. No one is not enough. I agree. One of the things I forgot to do last time is leave a request for people to answer. So this episode at the end, I'll be sure to leave a request. Hey, look at that. That's the one that, that we sent the very first uh, day we played. My youngest sister once told me something way beyond her years, so I'm telling it as my first letter. I can't promise it's going to be easy, but I can promise it's going to be worth it. Keep strong all, you're worth it. That is great advice. I agree. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at, jump right off the bat and take a look at requests. <clears throat> I'm sure everyone is having good and bad times right now with the social distancing, so if you need to vent or just want to tell me about your day, please do. I'd love to hear from you wonderful people. Much love, ever your friend, Natalie. Oh, that was nice, Natalie. Um, why don't we start with something just nice, casual, and encouraging. Uh, I'm using this um, social distancing to play games I've been putting off, like this one. And, uh, uh, uh. And I've honestly been enjoying the break. Hope you're staying safe, and thanks for the words of encouragement. There we go, and we'll add our new Robot Cube sticker. Yeah. Thank you for taking the time to think about a stranger. I'll rush this right over. I knew you'd keep writing people. I'm sure they'll love this. Oh, hey, I discovered mid-century this morning. Mid-century? I was a bit stressed about some things, but I put this on loop and washed all that away. Oh, mid-century is a new track. Maybe every day we log in, we get a new track? Hopefully I'll have another sweet track for you tomorrow. Yep, there we go. All right, I'm afraid that whoever I love get tired of me and sometimes it seems that some of them already do. It's exhausting. That's a good one. I don't know that I can think of anything offhand to say to, to say to you other than, you know, just keep keep up what you're doing. Uh, my BF and I broke up because he wasn't ready to settle down yet. We're still pretty young, so it was understandable. We want to stay friends, but I only see him once in a while now. We live together. And it's so hard all over again when he leaves. Aw. Oh, that's hard. Um. I. Uh. Understand. A bit about how this feels. In fact. Uh, in fact, I'm sure uh, lots of people can relate 
And when I realize that, it helps put my own concerns into perspective. None of us are truly doing this alone. We are all in this together. Keep your head up and stay strong, friend. And what sticker shall we add? Cat. I send the cat a lot, I think. Thank you for taking the time to think about a stranger I rush us right over. You can count on me to deliver this letter. All right, let's see here. Uh, my BF and I broke up because he, oh, didn't I just read that? I feel like I binge eat my feelings and I'm unhealthy. I hate exercise because my ankles always give out on me when I jump or run too fast. I love swimming but haven't been able to do it lately. Any tips on how to get healthier and start feeling happier? Hmm. Hmm. You know, this is a, a kind of a, a touchy subject and I don't want to give advice to somebody that could be unhealthy. So why don't we uh, read another one? I've been feeling funky for a few months now. I withdrew from college, moved back in with my parents, and I'm working part-time, but really feel trapped. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do to get better. My old hobbies just feel like wastes of time. Hmm. Oh, I accidentally pressed next and I- oh wait, I can go previous. Okay, here we go. Hmm. So, uh, sounds like you've been through a lot of changes recently. That many changes in such rapid succession can really take a toll. I'm glad you have the kind of relationship with your parents that allows you to move back in with them. Not everyone can say that. Let's see here. Um... I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do to get better. To get better. Oh, about feeling funky. Okay. Um. Listen to your feelings. But don't cater to them. If you take this time to relax and heal from the rapid change you've gone through, I have a feeling something or someone will crop up in your life that sets you on a direction. Sometimes it really does just take time. Uh, what did I say? Sounds like you've been through a lot of changes recently. That many changes in such rapid succession can really take a toll. I'm glad you have the kind of relationship with your parents that allows you to move back in with them. Not everyone can say that. Listen to your feelings, but don't cater to them. 
If you take this time to relax and heal from the rapid change you've gone through, I have a feeling something or someone will crop up in your life that sets you on a direction. Sometimes it really does just take time. And Trouserfish, I think, is an appropriate sticker here. Thank you for taking the time to think about a stranger. Or it's just right over. You can count on me to deliver this letter. All right. Uh, let's see here. My father-in-law just passed away so suddenly. Oh, sorry to hear that. He went to get his mail, then he had difficulty breathing. He was gone when the paramedics got there. I saw his body transported out of the house on a stretcher. It felt wrong. Felt that life is cruel. Oh, that's a really tough one. That is a really, really tough one. Hi there, T. I'm so very sorry to hear that your father-in-law uh, passed so suddenly. My mom recently passed away uh, uh, let's see here and it seemed cruel to me also um, these things that happen are <clears throat> the best argument slash catalyst for living uh, an authentic life in the moment since Things can happen suddenly like that. Stay strong and hopefully you are surrounded by people who love you and can share in the good times you had with him. Uh, people who love you and can share memories of the good times you had with him. Uh, okay. Hi there, T. I'm so very sorry to hear that your father-in-law passed so suddenly. My mom recently passed away and it seemed cruel to me also. These things that happen are the best arguments slash catalysts for living an authentic life in the moment since things can happen sudden, so suddenly like that. Stay strong and hopefully you're surrounded by people who love you and can share memories of the good times you had with him. I think that's good. Uh, what kind of sticker should we add here? Um, cat. <laughs> All right. I'm counting on you to deliver that letter. Okay, today I posted my first Instagram story and it was about spreading love and girl power. I tagged some friends who I think are beautiful and should get the positivity, but I feel awfully self-conscious about it. Are these kinds of IG stories lame? <laughs> Let's reply to this. Okay. Spreading love and girl power. Sometimes, putting something uh, out into the internet, like an IG story, can feel kind of scary. Especially since we're not sure how people might react to it. 
what I think is the best part of all of this, or what I think is the best part of your request, is that the something you put out there is a really, is a force for positivity. Um, I believe that if you keep in my, uh, I believe that if you are putting something good out there, regardless of how people react to it, you're doing something right. If I am persecuted or made fun of, if I am persecuted or made fun of because of something I put out there, It stings less knowing that I acted in accordance with, uh, I acted in accordance with my values and principles. This is a long one. Oh, I can't, there's not enough room for that. Let me see what I can uh, take out of here. Sometimes putting something out into the internet, like an IG story, can feel kind of scary, especially since we're not sure how people might react to it. What I think is the best part of your request is that the something you put out there is a force for positivity. I believe that if you're putting something good out there, regardless of how people react to it, you're doing something right. Um, if I'm persecuted or made fun of because of something I put out there, it stings less knowing that I acted in accordance with my uh, values and percent principles. Does that fit? Yeah, now I can't put the harder K, but um, and an astronaut because sometimes putting stuff out on the internet, you kind of feel like an astronaut, right? Like where no man has gone before and you're just kind of um, floating out there wondering how people will respond or react to it, but I don't know. I think if it's positive, if you're putting something good and positive out there, um, you're doing something right. All right, here we go. I live in Japan and the government doesn't seem to be doing anything about the coronavirus and I'm terrified. I'm a fully grown man and I feel so dumb for being scared. There is no reason to feel dumb for being scared right now. This is a tum tumul oops, tumultuous time. Um, seeing how late the U.S. reacted, um, let's see here, let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. This is a tumultuous time. Um, one thing that gives me comfort is knowing that we are all experiencing this together. We are all, to very varying degrees, scared. I would suggest, uh, even though, oops, the government doesn't seem to be protecting its people. Uh, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't protect yourself.
Who knows? Maybe by your example, you might influence people around you to do the same, and you might save a life. Stay strong and be safe. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a shame. The reaction to this in the US is, is a real shame. Um, we can look at countries who have gotten control of it and we can see how quickly they acted. We can see how slowly we reacted. And, you know, uh, hopefully we can all be the ones who take it upon ourselves to protect ourselves and our loved ones. Uh, how about a robo... robot block? <laughs> there we go. I love, uh, the way he talks. I just downloaded Animal Crossing and it reminds me of that. <laughs> okay, how do you deal with cabin fever kicking in this early? I miss my normal state of operations, as, do, as does everyone. It's just driving me nuts recently. Yeah, I feel like we kind of spoke a little bit about that. Um, as we look forward to being inside for the next weeks and months, I'm concerned about my kids being trapped inside. That is a concern for so many people. Um, the good news is there are many uh, 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 free, cheap, um, there are many free slash inexpensive uh, uh, ways to keep kids entertained. For instance, this game is only Four ninety nine. There are great YouTubers, uh, or there are great YouTube videos with ideas for how to fill their time. Um, thanks for keeping your kids safe by staying inside. And don't forget to do things for your, to keep yourself entertained too. All right, I hope that that wasn't, um, yeah, I think that's good. And what sticker shall we add? An astronaut, because it does kind of feel like we're going where no, no one has gone before with this health stuff, with all of this quarantining and isolation. All right. I miss my old online friends, the ones I used to talk to every day until the early morning. One has unadded me on certain social media but kept me on others. I'm so confused. One liked my ex through our whole relationship. I hate that I miss her. Aww. I hope you'll be kind to yourself and give yourself some leeway in how you're feeling. Um, the landscape of the internet has changed a lot over the years. And I miss a lot of the old interactions I had with friends on sites 
that are slowly going extinct slash losing members. The good news is Uh, uh, the good news is there are many new platforms cropping up. Uh, let's say, like, Discord. And without abandoning your old friends, maybe you can supplement with some new friends to feel less isolated. Um, stay safe and strong, friend. And cat. Thank you for taking the time to think about a stranger. I'll rush this right over. You can count on me to deliver this letter. All right, let us go back here. Oh, someone sends their thanks for the letter you wrote and another blobfish sticker. Okay. With a little help, we can all get through these crazy times together. Be tough, be strong, stay home, be excellent to each other. This right here is an excellent, excellent uh, bit of advice, friends. Um, I think that uh, this will be my final episode of Let's Play Kind Words on the channel, although I am gonna still, I, I would like to still play this every day for a little bit. I think it's a great way to start your day, a great way to think about others, to get your mind off of yourself and your situation, uh, especially right now whenever we're all, uh, you know, slightly anxious and scared and, and the future kind of looks like a question mark. But the good news is we're all in this together and I'm in this with you, friends. And uh, I hope that a lot of people will give this game a shot because wouldn't it be great to have inboxes full of positivity for each other? And uh, uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for coming with me on this journey. I have been and I'll continue to be Kip Icon as long as you friends continue to follow your drams. Don't forget, be excellent to each other. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.